tricky. And if you're going to be recording regularly, it might be a good idea to try out a few different spots to see which works best for you. I mean, I've basically given you a tour of my house with my different videos. All locations will have their pros and cons, so what you need to do is find a good balance of them. So here are some things to look out for. It's great to be in a location which gives your audience visual clues about what you're talking about. When I was recording with the Alice charity, I made sure to film the staff and volunteers where they normally work. So Danielle, the Big Cup project leader, was filmed right in the middle of one of the sessions, and the lovely People's Pantry volunteers were filmed in the food bank itself. Having a relevant location helps to reaffirm the overall video message. Now I'm going to make a video specifically about lighting at some point in the near future because it's so important. However, all I'll say for now is that daylight is the kind of light that your cameras react best to. So it's really good if you can film either outside or next to a nice big open window. Now again, I'm going to make a video solely about this in the near future just because it's so important but you can remove a lot of sound problems on your video just by choosing the right location. So echo is the main problem, but you can take that away by recording in an area with lots of soft furnishings like curtains, carpets, sofas, cushions, because that absorbs a lot of the sound, which is why I often record a lot of my voiceovers like this. Now if there's one thing I picked up from my university degree, it was don't film against a white wall because what happens is you really blend them into the background. So what you need to do instead is choose somewhere with lots of depth or something nice and interesting to look at because you can blur the background if you need to and that means that you are what's in focus so all eyes are on you. And this was filmed on my DSLR but you can do it on your iPhone as well if you sort of, you can tap to autofocus and that also sets the exposure as well. So those are my top tips for choosing a good filming location. And like I say, try out a few different ones. I mean, if we're all gonna be stuck in our homes in self-isolation in the near future, we might as well try and keep things interesting.